Two scientists made an astonishing claim that time travel is, in fact, mathematically possible. Not only is it possible, they went on further to say that, it's now time to bring the time machine into the real world. Stay tuned. Welcome to another episode of WS Matrix. If you like to get more videos like this, take a moment to hit that subscribe button below and subscribe to our channel. Ben Tippett, a theoretical physicist and mathematician from the University of British Columbia, said in a UBC News release that people think of time travel as a science fiction and that we tend to think it's not possible in reality. But what he discovered was that mathematically, it is possible. Tippett and an astrophysicist David Sang from the University of Maryland developed a mathematical formula that proves time travel is theoretically possible. According to their theory, the calculations were based on Einstein's general relativity theory. In the past, some scientists assumed going to the past is possible but not the future. Or the future but not the past. According to Tippett and Sang, the traditional stereotypical definition of time travel, understood to be the act of moving backwards and forwards through time and space is indeed possible, according to the abstract of their paper. Published in the journal Classical and Quantum Gravity, they gave a name to this theory and it's called TARDIS, which is an acronym for, Traversable A Causal Retrograde Domain in Space-Time. Their model of a time machine uses the curved space-time to bend time into a circle for the passengers. So they are not traveling in a straight line, but bending space-time in a circle to take you back in time. Their model makes an assumption that time could curve around high-mass objects in the same way that physical space does in the universe. For Tippett and Sang, a TARDIS is a space-time geometry bubble that travels faster than the speed of light. This is essentially a box that travels forward and then backwards in time along a circular path through space-time. With today's technology, we still cannot construct such a time machine. While is it mathematically possible, it is not yet possible to build a space-time machine because we don't have the type of material that can bend space-time in these manner. According to Tippett, these materials have yet to be discovered. There's been several other research suggesting that time traveling is possible. Tippett's work is not the only one that supports this possibility. One of the experiments done by the other studies is the use of photon stimulation which suggests that time travel is possible. Another idea suggested in the studies explores the potential particles of time. However, there's also some researchers who think that you cannot build a time machine because time traveling itself isn't possible. One of their reasoning is that there's an intimate connection between time and energy, and that would be the reason time traveling is not going to be possible. Another study suggests that time travel isn't going to work, because the future does not yet exist so you can't travel to it yet. It assumes a deterministic reality as opposed to a non-deterministic reality so it becomes a bit more philosophical in nature and our understanding of reality has a direct impact on whether time travel is possible or not. There's one thing that all these researchers agree. And that would be that, studying space-time, is both fascinating and full of unanswered questions. Thank you for visiting our channel. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to smash that like button. Click on the like button and feel free to post a comment down below. If you have any ideas or suggestions on what content you'd like to see in the future, please be sure to comment. Giving us a like helps our channel grow. Consider subscribing to our channel so you can continue to be updated on our latest videos. See you again in another video.